but I'm walking here at night in Djibouti. Uh, it's a very strange place. Everything is gated. There is razor sharp barbed wire on every single wall. I don't think I've ever been to a country uh, with this much security and really unwarranted. I mean, yes, it's a port. It's in a strategic location across from Yemen, but it's a bit overkill. I was able to find some snacks. Uh, the hotel front desk told me there's no shops nearby, but a Google Maps had a different story. Uh, so he just drew me over to the hotel bar uh, where they sell a single bottle of Coke Zero that I was looking for. Uh, would have sent me back 600 Djiboutian francs, which is about five USD. I got the same bottle for 100 Djiboutian francs. So pretty crazy prices. Well, good morning from Djibouti City. Today's plan is to get down to the heart of Djibouti City and visit the African and the European quarters. It's uh, about 7.20 in the morning right now. I'm gonna get down to the breakfast buffet, finish up with that, then head straight out, have a good four hours of sightseeing, come back here, enjoy the pool and other amenities, beautiful views of the ocean this morning. Uh, and I did do some research and that is the Gulf of Aden. So the Red Sea is actually on the other side of Djibouti. Uh, this is the Gulf of Aden. So across from here would be Yemen, the south coast of Yemen. So very close to where I'm heading in Oman in the next few weeks. All right, I'm heading out for a day of sightseeing here in Djibouti. You can see that much of the city is quite in a state of disrepair. It is pretty much absolutely true what you hear in the guidebooks. Uh, there is really nothing here, at least in this part of town. I'm hoping that there'll be more of interest um, down in the city center. But as of right now, if gated complexes are your thing, come to Djibouti. Beautiful gates, I'll give it that. Really colorful buildings here along the Boulevard de la Republique. Still not downtown, it's been about 25, 30 minutes, but uh, my hotel is quite far on the very north end of the peninsula. So it's gonna take me a while to get down there. And I'm starting to see some downtown-like buildings, so that's a good sign. This is the Djibouti railway station. It's the end of the line from Addis Ababa. Some Arabic writing on the uh, side of the buildings down here. And there is just a ton of trash everywhere, so kind of hidden in the lots of the buildings. You can see just them being used as kind of informal garbage dumps. So that's disheartening. All right, this is the uh, Djibouti Cathedral. It's one of the city's most prominent landmarks located right here on Boulevard de la Republique. Yet another uh, beautiful church. This one is far more showy. Put the camera away though. This is one of those places where if they see you with the camera, you're instantly interrogated. Uh, and the worst case is very much possible. So not the friendliest country in the world, that's for sure. It's the I Love Djibouti sign, uh, right outside of the post office. Pretty colorful, they put a lot of work into this. A lot of French brands here. So there's a leader price supermarket that I saw when I was in Paris. So this is Place uh, Menelik. And there is tons of old French colonial architecture all around. So it's really beautiful actually over here. Lots of greenery. You could probably mistake this for your average street in Paris. Pretty beautiful. Sorry? The police, you're asking. Why are they so upset about the cameras here? No, listen, let me tell you something. Yeah. You know the station police? You over there? Yeah. Just like a writing the bill, you know the... Bill? Yeah, the bill. Funny, eh? The police try to make money off of the tourists. Yeah. <laughs> That's really beautiful though, eh? Yeah. Is that made from a... Uh, Is it? Coral? Yeah. Coral building. Ah, yeah, oh, really beautiful. Yeah. Huh. Take a picture, no problem. I'll watch you back. 
All right, the cops tried to charge me a hundred bucks just to take a few photos downtown. So there's a lot of bribery here. I'm gonna head back to the hotel and relax and go to the pool because this is not working out. I guess he's leading me down the side roads into the market. And it stinks down here. Whew. Terrible. That is, it smells like urine and feces. Oh my goodness, this is disgusting. Whew. Evidently he knows where to go to avoid the police, so very useful. Pretty filthy here. No idea where I'm going. At least this is something quite local. Alright, we're aboard a minibus. Let me try to head back up to the hotel area. It's incredible how uptight they are about cameras here. I am so ready to go. So I'm back in my hotel here in the relative solitude uh, that this place affords me at least. I got as much as 10 feet into the downtown core before I was swarmed by police officers asking me about my camera, what am I doing here, what's my purpose, all that crap. Um, I wasn't even filming anything remotely sensitive, like we're not talking government buildings and ports and you know everything else that goes along with heightened security near military bases and everything else. I'm talking about photographing, you know, a doorway that looks beautiful or, you know, the French colonial architecture of some of the restaurants. They demanded a hundred US dollars for a photo permit, which I've Googled does not exist. So there's a lot of corruption here. So just make sure you understand what you're getting into if you come here. The reports of the police being very corrupt here, you know, bribing you for every little thing. I've seen that attitude right in front of my eyes. So I rushed back to my hotel because I'm not putting up with that crap. No offense to, you know, the people of Djibouti but the police ruin everything for a tourist. So if you're watching this and you're from Djibouti, know that I have the utmost respect for your country. I don't have the utmost respect for your corrupt police officers. But honestly, you know, this day could not get really any worse. I'm glad I'm leaving today. Can't get to the airport fast enough. My shuttle's gonna uh, leave here at about 10 p.m., get me there at about 10.30 for check-in, and then I'm off overnight to Doha, Qatar. area in Djibouti. Got to be really careful here. I'm switched to the iPhone um, just because there's so much scrutiny so at least I can pretend I'm on my phone. That's that beautiful beach here and the port ahead. So this seaside causeway uh, is very beautiful actually. It's a nice little walk. Unfortunately I'm so paranoid to film anything around here taking a big risk hiding behind a tree uh, just to do that right now. But uh, otherwise, it is a beautiful, beautiful day for a walk. Uh, it's very hot, but there's a nice cool breeze off the water. So definitely enjoying my day much more than I did this morning. I am exhausted and I need a drink. This is probably really bad for my health. I drank four liters of water, but I'm parched. I've been walking for so long, I'm getting dizzy. I did find a Coke Zero though to cool me down. Really nice session at the beach here. Um, good way to wrap up my time in Djibouti. So definitely relaxing. I've been about here for about an hour and a half. Definitely a good end to a really horrible day.